At SC09, NVIDIA's booth on the floor was one of the busiest at the show. Whenever I walked by their booth, it seemed like there were always crowds looking at products, talking to their booth minders, uh, getting demonstrations, or listening to presentations. At first, I thought they must be offering up some sort of really cool giveaway. Unfortunately, that was not the case. A simple explanation is there's a lot of interest in GPUs and hybrid computing this year. Uh, also, as you can see from the video, NVIDIA's new Fermi GT GPU was dubbed a top five new product or technology to watch for 2009. Now we're going to talk to Andy Keen, general manager of their GPU product group. But, uh, we're sitting here in the NVIDIA Cone of Silence with Andy Keen, who's the general manager? That's correct. Uh, and we're talking about the crowds that are outside and what they've been doing at the show. Everything I've been hearing at the vendors I've gone to, talking about GPUs and using GPUs. Right. So how's it been going? What's oh, this has been an incredible year. We uh, launched the Tesla products two years ago. And so at, uh, two years ago at Supercomputing, we were really just starting to talk about the concepts of using GPUs for computing. And uh, quite frankly, I think we had a, a, a lot of skeptics. We, we you know, a yeah, brand new processor, a yeah. lot of, exactly. <laughs> And over the past two years, we've had um, a lot of uptake from people, both who we've directly worked with, and now a lot of people who've just kind of discovered the processor, discovered CUDA, discovered the language. Um, we have a lot of posters, uh, academic posters in the booth. And a lot of this is just research that people said, you know, I have this big problem, I need a fast processor, and they used CUDA and they mapped the problem to the GPU and got great results. So um, you can now see GPUs all over the show floor. Uh, again, some people we directly work with, but a lot, they just downloaded CUDA, the C compiler that we have. They bought a GPU, either a Tesla GPU or one of our other GPU brands, and just started solving the problem. See, but that's GPU. the big problem with using GPUs, is getting that programming, getting the code, having the environment exactly. in place to be able to easily do it. Right. And the scientist guys, you know, the boffins, uh, as they say in the register, um, they'll do that but now it's spreading out beyond those guys. Absolutely, you know, the path forward from here is parallel computing. It's parallel computing on the CPU, right? So you're now moving from one core to multiple cores. Well, you're taking a problem you have and you're dividing it in parallel across multiple cores. Mm -hmm. So as we now go from two to four to six to eight to 12 to 16 core CPUs, you're really mapping it in parallel. And now we really have two models. You can take that C that software you have on the CPU that's multi-core, and you can take that intensely parallel kernel, and you can actually map it on the GPU. So we work together. We call it co-processing with the CPU for uh, classes of problems. There are commercial classes: consumer video, consumer um, audio, consumer imaging, consumer search on sure. the web. All of those parallel applications, the GPU really excels at. A lot of the benefit, though, of a GPU is that we do a lot of the work in hardware. Yeah. We're intensely multi-threaded device. We have a very simple software interface through C or C++. Um, Portland Group has just inter introduced Fortran. Uh, we have another uh, company here called Accelerize that has a MATLAB interface. So you can just program in MATLAB, just program in math, and get accelerated computation on your workstation. And the really interesting thing about this is that the entry point, the, the price point uh, to get into this is a consumer video card. Exactly, and in <laughs> many cases, wow. people already have it in their PCs. Yeah. And so we have a lot of presence in the workstation market, so now even the professional uh, businesses that use workstations every day for their work, they already have a CUDA card and they already have a CUDA-capable processor in their uh, workstation. And so. Now software developers just have to target their software to this um, GPU and work in concert with their CPU software that, that already works. It's interesting stuff. You guys have had big crowds outside. Uh, that's yes. great. That's great and a pretty full schedule of speakers. We've had a, a very full schedule of speakers and it's, you know, this is a trade show. And yeah. so we, um, we actually went out and we, we invited a lot of real luminaries, real, real names in the HPC industry. And said, you know, you know, please come talk in our booth, talk about your work. Um, and you know, in many cases, you you kind of expect some people to accept, and we got great response. We got you want to drop a few names on us. Jack Dungara um, came and spoke in the booth. Matsuoka uh, Satoshi Matsuoka from Titan came and spoke in the booth. Ross Walker um, from uh, the Amber Group mm. came and talked in the booth. So 
a lot, and I'm sure I'm missing some, some very important names, but we've had three full days of schedule and these all these wonderful people and actually theaters been packed. Yeah, um, and that's what I've noticed that walk around. In, in a lot of these talks. So yeah. it's been a, a, a wonderful show for that. Pretty good year for you guys. Exactly. Well, it's a, you know, we're growing on the success of the software. All of the strategy, everything we, we, we try to talk about is the software. What people are doing, what tools they need to yeah. do that to successfully complete their development. Uh, we have tools both in here in the, our booth on Linux and in the Microsoft booth on Windows. Uh, Windows HPC. We've just released a new driver for Windows HPC. Yeah, they're coming hard at HPC. Exactly, and so we're working in concert with uh, Microsoft on, you know, pushing all of that power of all that software that works on the enterprise, works on the client side, into the HPC market. Good stuff. Well, hey, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Excellent. Well, appreciate you uh, stopping by. And yeah. Good enjoyed, stuff. Enjoyed the discussion. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.